Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Lame, Tame, or Insane. The game that pays to be crazy. In Lame, Tame, or Insane, you're simply going to be playing a little bit of a drinking game in which you're going to be drawing cards and taking actions. These actions can be commands, they can be things like posting online, posing for a picture, or even giving yourself a little bit of a face paint. Your objective is to get 20 points, and the person who gets 20 points first is going to be the winner. However, if you perform a task and it's performed poorly, the group can say, oh, that was a lame task, you didn't do it very well, and you're gonna score points and take a shot, uh, or zero points take a shot, or you can actually score more points if you do it exceptionally well. In general, the objective is just to get the most points as you possibly can. You can play with more points if you want, and that is basically how you do it. Drawing cards, going around in a circle, commands, and taking uh, different actions that are gonna involve social media. Anyway, let's go down below, I'll show you all the components of the game, and then I'll explain how to play and what comes in the box. So here we have the game Lame, Tame, or Insane, the game that pays to be crazy. And what you're gonna get included in the game? Well, of course, there's a box, a ton of cards that fits two sides of the box that you're gonna shuffle and put together, and a shot glass, as well as three different colors of face makeup. Not only that, but I, I got a couple extra shot glasses, so we're gonna be doing a, a, a playthrough or walkthrough of this game at some point soon. And so I have some extra little goodies here, but you can actually pick up two versions of the game if you want to include additional shot glasses. And there's probably a way you can actually pick these guys up if you wanted them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, these are what you're basically going to be in the game. And in the game, all of the cards are just going to give you a task, like a prank call, posting online, or uh, face painting, these different things that can uh, make, sure they make you do certain things that are kind of uh, risque or a little bit crazy on social media. Anyway, that's basically what we get in the game. Let's come up and talk about what the cards say and how, to, how they function, as well as, of course, how to win the game. So in the game, it's pretty simple to begin. You're all gonna take a shot of whatever it is you like using these lame, tame, or insane shot glasses here. Uh, and then you're gonna begin by having the first player of the game chosen randomly. You can make up your own model of how you want to choose them and having them draw a card. The cards are numbered from one, two, and three, lame, tame, and insane, uh, and they're gonna give you different points. And of course, how you win the game is by getting 20 points or more. And uh, what you're gonna do is do whatever it says. If you don't want to do what it says, you can not to choose to use that card and instead take a drink of something. Right here, I've got my pure leaf tea, but you'll probably be using something different. Mmm, beautiful. Now, what is going to happen is you're gonna read the card and it'll tell you what to do. This one says post online, and it says, okay, to a person who's sick, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna comment, get well soon with your pretendinitis. <laughs> And you're gonna post that on their social media. If you do so and you do it well, you're gonna get the insane uh, points of three points. However, if you do it poorly, people can in the group collectively say, oh, that was pretty lame, and you can lose points that way by only getting one point, as well as lame if you do not choose to complete the task. And of course, you have the option of just choosing to be lame and actually not completing these tasks. Uh, let me read another one here. Command, your eyelids are so boring. Paint them up real nice. So in this one here, you're actually going to be uh, drawing something on your eyelids, utilizing your beautiful face paint. Let's go ahead and try and do something like that. All right, here we go. I'm, I can make myself beautiful. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I, I'm sure that you'll probably find your own way of, of dressing up your eyelids. Uh, let's read another one. Post online. It wasn't at the ATM, and I was at an, I was at an ATM, and an old lady asked me to check her balance. It wasn't very good. So some of these can be pretty tame, and other ones can be pretty insane for sure. Post online. My wife or my uh, mother, or sister, and I were walking downtown when we passed a restaurant. She said, "Can you smell the delicious aroma?" I thought, "Screw it, I'll treat her." So we walked past it again. <laughs> Something like that can be pretty nasty. And in the game, there is a ton of different things that can happen. In fact, some of them can be very, very insane. Probably things I wouldn't even have, wouldn't post. I would actually have to go ahead and drink, especially because of what I do for a living. However, there is going to be the walk through them that I have planned. I had to have a specific group set up for this game because of the amount of insaneness that can be carried out and to get a good uh, feel of how the party scenario is going to go. A lot of the, the gamers over here are going to be a little more passive when it comes to posting things like this online, especially when it comes to their businesses. But we'll have something out for you guys to entertain you with that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and talk about what I think for the game uh, Lame, Tamer, Insane. Well, the first thing that can be said is there's a lot of cards in here that can be pretty 
pretty egregious, I guess. Some things I wouldn't post, and some things uh, I, I doubt you're going to get certain people to post. However, that kind of gives the game a little bit of that interesting aspect of uh, how crazy do you want to get, and you have the option. Of course, if you're a, a person who's a challenger who wants to win any game they play, you're going to be willing to do some of these things, like calling up a restaurant and asking them, oh no, I, I don't want to order anything, I'm just here looking, right? <laughs> and, and that can be pretty nerve-wracking, I suppose, or posting something that's a little scandalous online. Post online lame tamer insane is like a sore beep. <laughs> you just can't beat it. So they have some sexual innuendos as well. This is definitely for ages 21 and up, and I probably would not suggest you to play without at least having something to drink. So those of you who aren't really drinkers may or may not want to jump in on this. I mean, you definitely can, but I think you're going to need to have a little bit of liquid courage in order to partake in some of these pretty insane challenges. Overall, though, any of those party groups out there, especially we just had one for New Year's, had a bunch of people who were out there playing one of the Pokemon drinking games, this would have been the perfect game for them to play, and I had them try out a little bit of it, but I couldn't stay as late as I would like to, so we didn't get to do actually a playthrough of it, but they had a good time doing so, posting crazy things online, drawing stuff on their faces, and of course, making fun of themselves by posing in weird pictures and posting them on Instagram and Facebook. You have to be willing to post things online for this game to work. If you're not, the game's not going to be fun for you and I would not suggest it whatsoever because there's a lot of cards that involve posting online. However, if you don't mind that kind of thing or even think that it's going to be pretty entertaining to see what people are going to say, then it is a good game to choose for, especially if you want something that's a little more risque on the adult side of things because specifically some of these can be pretty adult-like. Overall, a fun little party game that has a little bit of a risque nature and quite a bit of uh, intense gameplay. Uh, you can also add that little extra aspect of not letting people know that it's a game, you're not supposed to do that when you're posting things, and the additional thing of if you do something but you don't do it too well, the group can actually call you out on it and you can lose points that way. Points are not as important as just playing the game and having fun, but it adds a nice little aspect of the game that can kind of stop the game at a certain point. Overall, the Lame Tamer Insane is a fun game for those of you who like to post on social media. Would I specifically jump in on play on this? Well, I probably will during the playthrough, but in general, not on my accounts. It's too too, too, too risque for me. I'd probably be pretty lame. Overall though, check it out if you're interested in the description below if this is something that'd be interesting for you to take a look at. Lame, tame, or insane, the game that pays to be crazy. All right, you decide.